Hi, I'm Katie from Burnt Pancakes, and I'm flipping my motherhood mistakes into your successes. If you were anything like me when I brought home my newborn, you might have no clue what you're doing. Well, I'm here to show you how and why to give your baby a sponge bath. Why a sponge bath and not a regular bath? Well, a baby who is in between zero and two weeks probably has not lost their umbilical cord or are healing from a circumcision. You don't want to submerge them in water, so a sponge bath is perfect. My number one tip, and I've made this mistake before, have your station ready to go before you start. I always start in my kitchen and get all my supplies ready. All of the supplies that I'm using today will be linked in my description below. I start off by getting a tub of warm water, and I love this ducky because it tells me if my water is too hot. Then I sit down a bath towel to lay baby on. I get two washcloths and a towel to carry baby in, some soap, a robe, a change of clothes and a diaper, and a little brush. I have baby Charlie with me. She's almost two weeks old and I have her ready to go for her sponge bath. I wrapped her up in a towel and she's wearing just a diaper. Babies sometimes get cold so they are gonna fuss a little bit, but that's okay. So I'm gonna start first with uh, my washcloth and a little bit of soap on here. I'm gonna rinse it off. And I'm always gonna work head down and do her bottom area last. So I'm gonna get her face wet. She looks like she's kind of content right now, so that's okay. We're gonna get her little face here. Oh, there we go, yeah, feels so nice. Um, baby Charlie has lots of hair, so we're gonna make sure we give her a good scrub on her head. Babies usually need baths about every two to three days. Um, you don't wanna dry their skin out too much, so too much bathing will dry them out. I know, we're gonna keep this nice and quick for you. Wash your hair. An important area to get is under their neck, right under here. So I like to lift her up a little bit. I know. This is totally normal to have babies fuss a little bit. Okay, next I'm gonna move down and get her chest and arms. There we go. Squeeze that out. Let's get in their hands. Babies like to scrunch up their hands. So I try and open them up a little bit and make sure there's no fuzz in there. Okay, and those armpits. Those try to collect. I know it. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick rinse of her back, making this as fast as we can on her. Okay, now when I move down, I'm gonna put the towel around her and move on to her stomach and legs. There we go, We're getting you nice and clean. Wash around her umbilical cord, making sure not to get it wet. I know it. Okay, moving on to her little legs. Oh, aren't they so cute? And her feet. I know. We're almost done with your bath. Okay, now I'm gonna get in her diaper area and this is where I'm just gonna switch my washcloth and remember that I'm only gonna use this part on the diaper area. I know it. And clean her off right there. And get under here. She's got a little bit of fuzz in between her rolls, her cute little rolls, so I wanna make sure I clean that really well. And in the back, a little bit down here. Okay, you're almost done. One last rinse and we're gonna wrap you up. Okay, now I'm gonna move her to my dry towel, wrap her up, and get her all dressed. Okay, we got your little brush to brush all your beautiful hair. And there you have it. I just gave her a sponge bath and she's ready for bed. Okay, as you can see, baby Charlie is done with her sponge bath. She's nice and calm and ready for bed. Hey, if you liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more tips from a mom who's made all the mistakes so that you don't have to. See you on the next video. And remember, just keep flipping.